How you doing guys? Hope everyone going well. So today we're gonna talk about lower back, lower back pain. Now and then some people has a little bit chronic pain, it's pretty hard. Like I'm not gonna show you some exercise to strength or to help your lower back straight away, but I'm gonna show you the first steps, few exercises if you're very pain, just to relieve a little bit and you can move and we can follow with a little bit of strength afterwards, okay? So first exercise, if you have a lot of pain and what I suggest everyone is just lie down on the floor against the wall or if you have a lunge, you can be close by and put your feet up, okay? So we talk about, just get it close to the wall, put your feet against the wall, bend your toes, there, try to put your chin inside and try to breathe in, but let's try to use the diaphragm, okay? So inhale, belly first, rib, chest, and let go. Belly, hip, ribs, chest, and let go. Two fingers on your belly, and you're gonna try to push your fingers out with your belly, okay? But keep the belly too soft, so we try to switch on the core, and then try to breathe in with the core activated. If your head, your chin, to open is not good, okay? So create a little bit curve in the spine. So we wanna make a long spine. So push the chin in, make sure the head longer. If it's hard for you, get a pillow or something and just couple breathing and keep the core on. If the core on, I wanna try to bring your legs out of the wall and just gonna try to move side to side. Just a small movement, okay? Nothing long or far, just a small ones. Okay, you're gonna stop in the center. You're gonna test it, just warm up. Touch the wall. Touch. Touch. If you be having a lot of pain or you feel hip flexors be tight, you're gonna feel it a little bit burning from there. Okay, so you're just doing five bit side. After that, I want you to top that and just relax. Relax your core. This is a finish that easy. Okay, we're gonna put the feet on the floor. We're gonna move a little bit up. You're gonna try to push on the core again. You're gonna try to push your hip up. You're gonna try to hold that. Keep the glute activated a little bit. You can try to put one foot on the floor and come back. Put the other foot on the floor. See when I go up, I try to keep in the same level and back. Okay, just activate and we try to put the sacrum very stable on the lower back. Okay, we're just doing five to six each side. Very simple, nothing. As soon as you finish that, you move a little bit out of the wall again and you just start to move your hips. So breathe in, breathe out, side. So inhale in the bottom, exhale, and then twist, change side. Inhale. About five to ten times each side. When you finish, you're gonna drop everything on side. You're gonna get the bottom foot, put on top. You're just gonna push, activate the core. You're getting higher and exhale. Just try to release, try to keep the core on there. Give it there for 10 to 30 seconds. You come up, you get the other side and press down. You're gonna feel in the release on top of him. As soon as you finish that, I want you to go. Turn on the side, gun here. You're gonna push 
the bottom leg a little bit up okay so it's not even 90 degrees a little bit down the other one on the top i'm gonna turn it my whole body here i'm gonna open my fingers my elbows and my shoulder so my spine is gonna be long i push my spine up activate my core and i just breathe in there for 30 seconds up to 60 seconds one side just hold keep the spine activating and stable you're gonna feel it on the hips losing straight on the hip flex you're still breathing through the belly chest we try to just release the muscles and try to give it space and try to strength centralize the joints to the finish one side we come in up we swap the other side drop one drop other hand down push it'll be the same you probably see and feel the difference between your right side and left side don't forget to activate the core push your belly out and still breathing diaphragm ribs chest hold that 30 to 6 seconds So that's a simple exercise you're gonna use to release and relieve. You can do it early morning, get out of bed, go straight away in the mat, and then use that if you've been having a lot of lower back pain. That will give you a little better start of the day. Cool? Thank you.